Hey, can we change this up? This part two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. I think now I go for bigger pieces. I say I really like the Cubans. I get a lot of Cubans. I just wanted something that shine. As long as there's diamonds in it, I'm aware. My favorite piece right now, my B Money chain. That's for my friend that passed away. It sparked up a lot of conversations on the internet. I think I'm the first person to do this link. It's called a B Link. I came up with the idea, like I seen Israel Adesanya, he had like a Apple Watch chain. And I wanted something similar, cause he had like a video playing of his fight in it. And I wanted something similar, like with a flip gram of me and my friend playing, but Icebox went and turned into a whole phone. I really didn't mind it when I seen it, cause I felt like it was like new, like nobody ever did it. Like close to, to 400,000. This chain, I got this from Wafi. The picture can spin around. This is like, initially when I came, the first time I had a chain like this, it was a memory pin that I got from Wafi for like 40,000. But I end up upgrading it to the memory pin to this, and I got an updated picture, like with how I am now. This is like 100,000, 100,000 even. The only piece I got from anybody outside of Icebox and Wafi is this piece right here from Elliot, Eliante, the Hall of Fame piece. Around the time I asked him to make this, I just wanted something like a big circle chain. That's how I came up with the idea. We both came up with the design together. Like I just told him what I wanted in it and he came back with this. It's supposed to be like the NBA Finals Championship trophy, but instead of a basketball, this is supposed to be like a record in the middle. And this is like the biggest Cuban that I got. I think this is a kilo. It's pretty expensive. When you get this Eliante stop, it comes with a hefty price. Like 400,000. This is my ODA pendant. I got a new logo made separate from my old one. I traded that chain in because I didn't really like it no more. I use this chain to give to any of my newer artists that I sign now. And it's another 100,000, like 115,000. Yeah. Good for a chain. This is my most recent piece, my latest piece before I grab another one for a long time. This one was like 200,000. I came up with this design. I wanted to use the purple heart like for the soldiers. My new album is titled Hood Poet. This like the symbolism for like the topics of the album. You know, I got the microphone. I'm trying to be on the path to be one of the goats. I got the uh, handwriting for the poetry. This chain that I got on, I just bought this too, actually. Because this chain was taking too long and I was really trying to wear it on my birthday. So I had Wafi like hurry up and make me something in like five days so I could have some new jewelry on for my birthday. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. This chain, actually Icebox made this chain for me as a surprise. I didn't even know that they was making this. Like they wanted to update my first set with my Capola chain. They felt like this was too small and that I ain't gonna really wear it no more, so they made me a newer version. I, I love the chain, and, and I got a full complete set with it, like this ring, and I got a watch. This watch I got with this uh, Polo G chain, they custom made the watch too. They put blue diamonds down the side and a bezel. This was like 100,000, 100,000 even. This is my most recent watch that I just got. I got this to match up with my hood poor chain. I actually wanted the purple dial with it. It's like a rare watch. You can't really get the purple dial one. It's like 230,000. I got this one with the regular face instead because I couldn't find a purple face watch. But this one is like 160,000 and it's a frosted AP. This right here, 
a Richard Mill with like factory set diamonds in it. Bust down watches is its own separate market. They'll tell you at a factory set, 10 times more expensive and you can get somebody to make the same type of watch for way cheaper. But if you got the money, just go get a factory set watch. This is like a $400,000 watch. I got it to match up with the uh, B chain. Like every time I go and get a chain, I gotta get a watch to match it, like so it could be a complete set. This watch I got on right now, this is another Richard Mille. This is like 270 something thousand. I initially had the same watch, but I had a bust down case and I traded it for this one because it was worth more and I wanted something plain. I feel like Richard Mille is more like a sophisticated looking watch in a way. It's like a status symbol, like people who know what's going on, like, oh yeah, he probably got some good <laughs> shit going on. These, my rings, they spell out Polo G. I got these from Wafi. I originally started with this ring. My lady got me this ring, and I'm like, I might as well get the rest of my name, spell it out. So I had Wafi make the rest of these. I think these emeralds in the middle, and uh, baguettes down the side. These was like all in total, like 100,000 in total. I want to definitely get some jewelry, like something that's different. I want to really bring back the style of chains rappers wore in the early 2000s, like the real long chains and like, they have like a square pendant or something. I want to bring that style back. I think you got to wear a specific type of clothes for that though. Like big t-shirts, big clothes. We gonna end up doing a part 17. <laughs>